Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Tape video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a simple leaderboard inside of your Roblox game. Before I head into this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how it's like to have this leaderboard. So let's click on the play button and then you'll see the leaderboard come up. And then after that, I'll explain on how you can make this inside of your very own Roblox game. So let's give it a second to load in. It might take a while. And you can see we have these two slots, coins and gems, and actually we can edit this so we can give myself as many coins as we want to. So I can give myself 100 coins, I can give myself 5 gems, and I can mess around with that type of stuff. So now let's head over to Roblox Studio and I'll teach you on how you can make this inside of your Roblox game. Alright, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio. This today is going to be a super simple script and it's going to be pretty easy for you to follow along. And most of these leaderboards are pretty complex, but keep in mind this leaderboard is not auto-saving. In the future you can expect an auto-saving tutorial coming soon, but that's not the time for us. This now, nah, but now this is not the time for that. So I'm just going to be giving you the basic lead stops understanding. So let's create a brand new base plate, and then we're going to actually start creating our leaderboard. So Roblox creates a leaderboard for you when you insert a lead stats folder inside of a player. So let's head over to Server Script Service, and we're going to click plus and then script, and let's call the script uh, leaderboard. Now we're going to create a folder inside of this and we're going to be calling this leader stats. Now let's say local leader stats inside of our scripts equal script.leader stats and now we're going to say game.players.player added connect function player. So when a player joins we're going to get the player that joined and then we're going to clone the leader stats. Oops made a mistake. Clone and then we're going to set the parent to be the player. Now, inside of our leader stats, we can insert values such as integer values. So let's add an int value, and let's call this value coins, and then let's call this other one gems. And now this will insert two columns inside of my leaderboard. So let's head into Roblox Studio, and I'll show you what it'll look like. And you can see we have coins and gems. And now if we head back and we remove one of these integer values, you can see we have just gems. And we can make as many columns as we like. And let's call this one. Well, of course, you can't add them, but you can remove them. So just keep that all in mind. And of course, we can customize it. And if I were to remove gems, you'd only just have the gems column. And now you can customize these. So, for example, we could say player dot leader stats dot, and let's just look coins dot value equal 10. And we can set the gems, for example, to be um, something like five. And now, if we load into the game, you can see that we'll have. 10 coins and 5 gems and of course you can customize this inside of your roblox game you can create parts that give you points you can do all of that stuff if you have any scripting support questions or you just don't know how to make something you can always head over to our farms and myself or somebody else will help you you can see we got our coins and gems today's was a particularly short tutorial but i hope this helps with your basic scripting needs thank you for tuning in once again if you have any issues with your script or you don't know how to create something feel free to head over to our farms thank you for tuning in and bye bye <laughs>